London's new mayor, who is Sadiq Khan, in a... I'm only here today because of the opportunities and helping hand that our city gave to me and my family. And my burning ambition for our city that will guide my mayoralty is to ensure that all Londoners get the opportunities that our city gave to me. I promise you that I was, I'll always do everything in my power to make our city better. I will be a mayor for Londoners. Sadi Khan, Sadi, come on. Friends, I am um, still quite, can't quite believe that I'm standing here as your candidate for Mayor of London. I never dreamt that me, a South London boy, a son of immigrants, who grew up on a council estate could ever be standing here today. And I'd like to pay tribute to all our amazing candidates this summer in the mayoral contest to Tessa, David, Diane, Gareth, and Christian. But now we must focus on the future. Winning back City Hall next May will be a huge challenge. And this isn't just about London. Winning next year will give us a chance to show the difference that Labour can make to people's lives when we win power. And to win, we need to show that we're in tune with the lives of the British people, that we understand the challenges they face, that we share their concerns and their ambitions, and most importantly, that we have real solutions. And for me, that's about increasing opportunity. Our driving ambition as a party must be to ensure that all Londoners, in fact, everyone in Britain, has the opportunities to build a better future. And together, we can make this a reality. Friends, whatever happens over the course of this morning, we must pull together for the sake of everyone in Britain who is struggling to make ends meet. Struggling. Struggling for a better future, unable to afford a safe, secure home, on wages that, are, that, that don't stretch to the end of the month, missing out on a good education, or sick through no fault of their own. We can only help them if we are together, if we are united, if we win. So friends, let's rally together, because together we can make a difference and change this city and our country. Thank you. In a speech given during the manifesto launch, he said, London gave me the opportunities to go from the council estate where I grew up to helping to run a business, serving as transport minister and now running for mayor. I had the helping hand of a good state school, a place at university that I could afford, and ultimately, good jobs for my wife and me that enabled us to buy a family home. This manifesto will ensure all Londoners get the opportunities that our city gave to me. Here are 14 key things to which Sadiq Khan pledged in his manifesto. 1. Thousands of new homes to be built for Londoners. Khan has pledged to build 800,000 homes in the first year, with half of those to be affordable homes and give Londoners first dibs to buy them over buy to let purchasers or overseas investors. 2. Land owned by public bodies to be used for building. Using mayoral powers, Khan aims to use the land owned by public bodies such as Transport for London TFL to develop on that land and not Greenbelt. 3. Freeze travel fares for London commuters. Sardik's controversial plan to freeze TFL transport fares for four years has come in for some criticism. However, he also would like to introduce a one-hour bus hopper ticket paid for by making TFL more efficient and exploring new revenue-raising opportunities. 4. Restore neighborhood policing to reduce knife crime. 
Khan has also promised to make London safer, with action to restore neighborhood policing which in turn should assist in tackling gangs and knife crime. 5. Name and shame private landlords. Private landlords who are treating tenants badly or not carrying out necessary work on properties will be openly named and shamed by working more closely with boroughs to identify the major issues. 6. Use a more effective method to tackle homegrown terrorism. Critical of the government's prevent program to tackle radicalization, Khan plans to work with internet providers to close down extremist websites and even completely overhaul the anti-extremism program. 7. Show opposition to Heathrow Airport expansion. The mayoral hopeful has come out in opposition of Heathrow expansion, although he agrees there is a need to expand a new runway. 8. Chelsea Crossrail 2 plans to be reviewed. The plan station on King's Road is one the Labour candidate has said he will review should be become mayor to ensure TfL takes residents' views into account. 9. A clean energy revolution for London. Energy for London is a not-for-profit company that will take a lead on clean and green energy across the city to make it reach its air pollution targets. 10. Introduce a system which creates fairer economy. The party plans on introducing established skills for Londoners, a new partnership with London's businesses to ensure Londoners have the skills for the jobs of the future. 11. Make the Metropolitan Police more diverse. Khan has announced he intends to increase the number of black officers in the Metropolitan Police if elected into office to create her force which reflects the city it is charged with keeping safe. 12. Plant trees near schools and introduce environmental friendly buses. In order to create a greener city, the party aims to plant 2 million trees near schools in the city as well as introduce buses which release less fumes. There is also the plan to support community generation initiatives, install solar PV on public buildings and divesting London's pension fund from fossil fuels. 13. Support London's entrepreneurs and small businesses. Push for London to be more of a tech city. Protect small business spaces. Create more startup spaces and improving the digital infrastructure. 14 fight for gender equality in jobs and pay. In a speech in March, Khan said he will be parting the fight for gender equality at the very heart of my manifesto for all Londoners by challenging any barriers which stand between women and their potential success. During his campaign, the Labour mayor had said he felt London was left vulnerable by the government's failure to stop terrorism with the anti-radicalisation prevent program. Nothing is more important to me than keeping London safe. Those involved include the Metropolitan Police Service, the London Fire Brigade, the NHS, local authorities, Transport for London, the Port of London and the RNLI, all of who will get ready to deal with a major terrorist incident. The mayor said, nothing is more important to me than keeping London as safe. As a dad, I worry about my daughter's safety as they go about our city as I worry about all Londoners. It was reassuring to see our brave, dedicated and incredibly skilled armed response officers in action. I want to thank every Met officer who has volunteered to put themselves on the front line of protecting Londoners and am pleased that London will have around 400 more armed response officers as soon as April next year. I am determined to fix London's housing crisis and ensure that all Londoners have the opportunity to rent or buy a decent home at a price they can afford, but the scale of the challenge is now clearer than ever and we're not going to be able to turn things around overnight. We will